I'm Mike with the Hunt Fish Shoot channel coming at you for the Armory Life. And today I'm gonna to be covering positional shooting and how it applies to motor vehicles or cover. So when we're doing this, there's a few things you have to take in consideration anytime you do positional shooting, shooting on the move, or you're changing elevations. The number one most important thing is firearm safety. The obvious things, know your backstop and beyond. In addition to that, your muzzle awareness and where that muzzle is gonna be. Because as you're changing elevations and you're going to kneeling positions, prone positions, things like that, or getting up, or doing reloads while laying on the ground, you have to pay attention to where that muzzle is pointed because whether you're on a flat range or you're out in the world and you're actually trying to defend your health and safety, you have to know where that muzzle is pointed. And then after that, again, knowing that backstop and beyond is that if you're shooting on a flat range, like you're gonna practice it, you have to know that if you're laying on the ground and you're shooting up, your rounds are gonna go up at an ar upward arc and with that upward arc, you have to know your backstop will stop them. And then when you're going from, let's say, the prone position or laying on the ground or getting up, you always wanna check 360 degrees to make sure there's nobody else around you as you go to stand up. Because if you're working with a partner, law enforcement, military, or you have somebody else helping you in a shooting situation, you don't wanna stand up in front of somebody that's shooting because it could cost you your life. But once you know those safety aspects, let's get into the, the nuts and bolts of positional shooting. We're gonna cover standing, you're gonna have a crouch position, you're gonna have kneeling, left and right, double kneeling, the supine position, left and right, urban prone, and then we're gonna go through all those together, going up and down and working through those positions, and then once those are all completed, I'm gonna show you how those positions actually apply to a motor vehicle. For instructing this drill today, I will be using the Springfield Prodigy. This is gonna be the four and a quarter inch model. We're gonna start at the standing position. I will walk you through every single one of the different elevation changes, all the way from standing to urban prone, and then all the way back up again, two rounds on each. With this being said, I have a target set up. It's a paper target, it's a 12 inch bullseye. I work on accuracy when you're doing this, because you will notice with different elevation changes, being accurate can be more difficult. But again, let's start at the standing position. So the standing position, this is just your standard standing position, okay? Nothing special about that one. After standing, we're gonna to go to the crouch. So for your crouching position, you know, you could get a, a, let's say a catcher squat per se, you could be up a little bit more, but just think you wanna be in a comfortable position that you can make shots. After you're in the crouching position, we're gonna do right kneeling. So with right kneeling, it's just simply your right knee is up, and that's so if you wanna lean out from behind cover, you can do that. After right kneeling, we'll go into the double kneeling position. At double kneeling, some people like to be up off their heels. For myself, I like to just lean back on it. And once you lean back on it, it gives you a stable shooting position. With all of these different shooting positions, you're ultimately trying to build the same platform you have when you're standing up. Now granted, your lower, let's say, extremities and all that will be different. However, your upper torso is generally the same. From double kneeling, you can go to a left kneeling. Again, it's just about the same as your right kneeling, but you're going to your left side if you're gonna lean out to the left side of cover. You're noticing, with this, I'm keeping my muzzle oriented downrange and at my target and not flagging my cameraman. So from, let's say, double kneeling, left kneeling, or right kneeling. If you, let's say you slip, trip, or fall, which generally you're not gonna get in these positions I'm gonna get into now, you may end up in them by accident. So we'll go to the supine position. So supine is you're simply coming up off your shoulder blades, put your sights on the target, and shooting between your knees. With this being said, make sure your muzzle clears your knees and you have it in a good, safe location. From supine, you can go to right, or left urban prone. With these urban prone positions, watch your holster, your, op, your top knee ultimately is gonna go down and you're gonna build a shooting platform that's nearly identical if you're standing up. And when you, what you notice here is you see how my shoulders are actually bladed or faced towards the target. My platform is nearly identical if I'm standing up. So after you flip all the way around, again, keeping that muzzle pointed at your target, and that right top knee here goes down, making a stable platform. All right, now here we're at a reload. What's important to notice is that when you're trying to make a reload in this position, you can't flag, okay? You have to keep that muzzle pointed down range. And if you can't see it, my magazines are underneath my body. So you're gonna have to figure it out on how to get that out. So inject your magazine, 
muzzle down range, stroke it, and you can go back then to your double, or say supine. After your supine, you can come up to a kneeling. You can do a double kneeling if you want. You can go to right kneeling if you want. Okay, your crouch, and then standing. Okay, and then the drill ultimately is finished. If you want to turn it into a drill, you can. Let's run up here, check the target, and show you guys how important it is to truly be accurate. With all these different positions, I was deliberate on my trigger presses. I was deliberate on getting those sights lined up because I'm practicing. I'm training to make good, effective hits. Excellent hits are here on the target. I'm shooting from about 10 yards here on this target. All of them are where they're going. They're all going into my backstop behind me. Several acres here behind my target, safe range. Again, not all ranges are gonna allow you to do this. So if you wanna practice it, you need the space, you need the range, let's say limitations, and you need to set your target up the right way and then make deliberate hits, make good shots on your target and practice working on the fundamentals. You can speed things up, which I will do now and show you guys a little faster working through all those positions from top to bottom and bottom to top. I'm gonna to run through this now a little bit quicker through all the different positions. You'll see how I'll check now for elevation changes. Every time I go to a different position, your finger's coming off the trigger, coming out of the trigger well ultimately, and going on the side of the gun index there for your next shot. That's through all the different positions. On some circumstances with your pistol, if you have a manual safety, you can engage it. If not, just keep that finger outside the trigger well, especially when you're transversing and going to cross. And any chance you might have where you could flag your own body parts or somebody else's, make sure you have good muscle awareness. If you're coming up, make sure you check for elevation changes. Look around, make sure nobody else is up there with a muzzle over top of your head. If you've fallen down by a car, if you're a police officer in particular, but we're gonna run a car over here now. I'm gonna show you how each one of those positions can actually apply to the rear end or say even a side of a car. It really doesn't matter. And if it's not a car, it's any piece of cover that you can use, you can use these different positions. And I'll reiterate this. Shooting from the ground, an urban prone, supine, with those ones like that, you're generally not gonna purposely put yourself in those positions because you're highly immobile. It's hard to move around. If you have a lot of gear on, if you're wearing body armor, like I do for duty use, and you have a full duty belt on, it's very hard to move around on the ground. And it's not some place you wanna be unless you're forced there. So if you trip and fall, it could happen. It happens all the time. Watch enough you know, officer involved shootings and you will see it happen on body cam time and time again. Let's run this car in here and shoot that drill again. To demonstrate the different elevations on a motor vehicle, we have our F-150 pickup truck parked here. I'm gonna shoot from standing, kneeling, and then urban prone on the right, then we'll switch over to the left side. And a good rule of thumb when you're using cover behind anything is that if you're going to come out from the same side of cover, make an elevation change. And again, I reiterate, shooting from urban prone or shooting from this position, you're not necessarily trying to be here. Whether you're doing right side or left side, the fundamentals and everything you're doing is ultimately the same. Remember though, if you're coming out from left side of cover, left leg is gonna come out on the kneel, it's gonna be up, standing, left leg out, 
On the urban prone, your right knee is gonna go over and lay flat on the ground. So ultimately it's just mirrored, but you're using your opposite leg. With all these different positions that we've covered and how they can relate to motor vehicle, it's important to remember that in shooting situations in real life, you never truly get to pick the stance, the position that you're gonna be shooting in. So being able to practice and shoot in every single one of those positions is extremely important because again, you don't get to pick the date, time, conditions, how you're gonna be standing when the fight happens, but you gotta be ready.